Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make terrible vodka taste a lot better using the Vodka Vault. Now this is the product itself. This is the Vodka Vault. If you want to see an unboxing video, you can check that out in a card up here. And so that will show you the unboxing. Now the first step once you open up your Vodka Vault is to plug it in and charge it this will be a red light when it's charging and it'll turn green when it's done. It usually takes about two or three hours. So charge that up and then you can get started. So it comes with a filter that looks like this. You can buy some extra filter packs if you like. The first thing you need to do is rinse off this filter for about five seconds to get any dust off that may have occurred during shipping. Uh, then you'll put the filter in the bottom here. This bottom just opens up, unscrew it, Take the filter, put it in snugly, and then screw it back in. So once that's done, you can continue. Uh, after that, you can add a infusion if you like. You can put any fruit in here, strawberries, blueberries, uh, cucumbers, to make an infused vodka, an infused vodka. For this, we're just gonna do a regular. So we've got the filter in and we're ready to go. Now, one thing I recommend doing is taking a little bit of your cheap vodka first and putting it into a glass so that once you've filtered, you can taste the difference. So we've got a Vodka Vault shot glass here. We'll just pour out some of this vodka so that we can compare later on. And then of course, once it's finished, we can put this sticker on the bottle filtered by Vodka Vault. So we'll leave that there. Uh, pop off this little pour spout, insert the Vodka Vault, and then this sometimes will screw in, but it should fit snugly in there so that it's solid and it's not gonna come out. Then it's really simple. All you do is hit this on button. And now you can see there it's red. So this is now filtering. The filtration process is, uh, takes about at least one hour. So you wanna let it run for one hour for sure to have good results. What we're gonna do is let it run for two hours, and after one hour, I'll pour out another glass, and after two hours, pour out a third glass, and then compare the results. So we'll come back in one hour, pour out a glass, and then two hours, have a third glass, and then wrap up the whole thing and show you uh, which is the best and how to achieve the best results using the Vodka Vault filter. All right, it has been one hour, so the little light has turned off. So now you know that it is done. We're gonna pour some into this glass and then we'll do it for another hour and see what the difference is. Now you should be able to pour through this spout, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do both. We're gonna give it a test, to see how well it seals there, and pour through the spout. Seems to be pretty good. No leak, so that's nice. So there we go. Now we're gonna activate this again. Push that button down, it's red. We'll let it sit for another hour and then pour it in there and see which one is the best. All right, so here we are. The Vodka Vault has now gone through two cycles in the bottle. Uh, an important note is that I had to take this out and charge it another time, so it seems that when you charge the device, it's only good for one filtration cycle. Then you can put it in, go through another filtration cycle. If you wanna keep going, uh, then you would have to charge it each and every time. So now what we're gonna do is check out the two hours of filtration. And we'll see which one is the smoothest to determine whether it's worth doing another hour of filtering. So this one I know is very, very harsh. We can judge this based on the smell. And then this one, you'll just have to take my word for it or try the Vodka Vault filter and you can grab that in a link in the description below and test it yourself. All right, that one's still kind of harsh but not terrible. And I think this one is a little bit better. So it would seem that going through another cycle would help. I will say that the vodka, it is still um, pretty harsh. It's not quite as bad as, as the, this, this terrible one of no filtration, 
but I wouldn't call it top shelf vodka. I would say that we took bottom shelf vodka and moved it to about the middle shelf. So it is better, it did work. I would say that uh, putting some fruit or some type of thing in the infusion section of it and infusing the vodka would also help with that harshness and take that out of there. But for the most part, I think the Vodka Vault works pretty well. It seems to be a good product. Uh, now we can use this filtered by Vodka Vault. If you have any questions about the product, there'll be a link in the description below. You can reach out to the company and they'll be happy to help you or comment below and I'll do what I can. But you can grab links to all of this in the description below as well. So hit, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and also the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Thank you.